Hi, Ego Crew, it's me, Philip Water Bottles. Today, we're going on a different kind of adventure. Not to a park, not to a forest, but deep into our oceans. But this isn't just about fish and waves. It's about something we all need to understand. Plastic pollution. Every year, millions and millions of plastic bottles, bags, and wrappers end up floating in our rivers, lakes, and oceans. And this plastic doesn't just disappear. It breaks down into smaller pieces called microplastics, and they spread everywhere. But don't worry. We're going to learn together how this happens, what it means, and how every one of us can help. Let's start at the beginning. Imagine you're at a soccer game or the park, and you finish a plastic water bottle. If that bottle isn't recycled or refilled, it can get thrown away and end up in the trash. But sometimes, wind or rain carries it away into a river or storm drains. From there, it flows downstream and eventually out into the ocean. One little bottle doesn't seem like much, but think about billions of people doing the same thing. That's why scientists say there could be more plastic than fish in the ocean by the year 2050 if we don't change our habits. That's pretty scary, but it also means we have time to turn things around. Now picture the ocean floor. Beautiful coral reefs, bright, colorful fish, turtles, dolphins, even sharks. All of them are affected by plastic. Turtles might mistake floating plastic bags for jellyfish, their favorite snack. Birds can pick up little pieces of plastic thinking it's food, and fish sometimes swallow microplastics without even knowing it. Over time, these plastics can harm their bodies and make them really sick. And when fish eat microplastics and people eat fish, that means the plastic can end up inside us too. That's right. Scientists have even found microplastics inside human bodies. But here's the good news. We can stop the story from going that far if we take action together. Let's zoom out for a second. Where is all this plastic coming from? A lot comes from single-use items. Things we use once and throw away. Water bottles, straws, shopping bags, snack wrappers, and takeout containers. These items are super convenient, but they're designed to last forever. Plastic doesn't really go away. It just breaks into smaller and smaller pieces. That's why you can find plastic floating on the ocean's surface, washed up on beaches, and even trapped in the ice of the Arctic. It's everywhere. But the exciting part is that this means every time we choose to refill, reuse, and recycle. We're stopping more plastic from adding to the problem. Here's something amazing. Around the world, people are stepping up. Some countries are banning plastic straws and bags. Scientists are working on new materials that act like plastic but break down naturally. And volunteers, kids, and families are cleaning up beaches and rivers to stop trash before it gets to the ocean. It's proof that when we work together, we can make a real difference. And the Eco Crew is here to show kids like you how easy it can be. So, what can you do right at home? First, remember my favorite phrase, refill before you landfill. That means instead of buying single-use plastic bottles, grab a reusable one and fill it up again and again. Second, recycle whenever you can. That plastic bottle, if recycled, can be turned into something brand new, like a jacket, a toy, or even part of a park bench. Third, take part in cleanups. Maybe with your family, school, or scout troop. Picking up just a few pieces of trash means fewer animals are in danger. And finally, share what you learn. Tell your friends, classmates, and family why protecting the ocean matters. The more people who know, the more change we can make. Now, let's imagine together. What would the world look like if everyone used reusable bottles, bags, and containers? Beaches would be clean, oceans would sparkle, and sea turtles and dolphins would swim without danger. That's not just a dream. It's something we can build step by step, choice by choice. You, me, and every member of the Eco Crew are part of this mission. And every refill, every cleanup, every time we say no to single-use plastic, we're building that future. The ocean gives us so much. 
It gives us food, it helps control our weather, and it even produces more than half of the oxygen we breathe. Protecting the ocean isn't just about animals. It's about protecting our own lives too. That's why the Eco Crew will always be here to help teach ways to care for the planet. Because when we protect the Earth, the Earth protects us right back. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the ocean today. If you loved learning about plastic pollution and how we can help, ask your parents to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Check out our other Eco Crew adventures and don't forget, you can also visit our Facebook page for free coloring sheets and eco activities. Together, we're not just watching, we're making a difference. Clean oceans, healthy animals, and a brighter future. Start with us.